As you know, I loved watching Arthur Chu play, but his daily double hunting took away a possibility for a special scenario, finding the daily double on the last clue of double jeopardy. A situation I like to call the penultimate wager. It took just one game after Arthur Chu's run for us to have a penultimate wager situation. It belongs to Matt, who's in the lead with 14,000, Jessica's in second with 11,600, and Diana is in third with 5,700. Now, if you think back to part four of my wagering tutorial, I listed two three-player situations in which the leader has to wager for a tie. Evenly spaced scores and first equals second plus third. We could do some math here, but it's very difficult to do that on the fly. Think back to part two of my tutorial, where I talk about two player wager to tie situations, and those have to do with the ratio of second place's score to first place's score. The leader should wager to tie if the trailer has one half, two thirds, or three quarters of his score. What I think Matt should do here is wager so that if he gets it wrong, he'll have exactly half of Jessica's score. I'll show you why in a second. Half of Jessica's score is 5,800. So Matt should wager so that if he gets it wrong, he has this backstop where he'll be left with 5,800. And what will happen there is Jessica will be forced to wager zero and Matt will control his own destiny. If he gets it right, he doubles up and ties and comes back the next day. The entire point of Jeopardy. So what is that wager? Eighty-two hundred. That is his optimal wager, in my view. Let's see what happens if he gets it right. If he gets it right, he's going to have twenty-two thousand two hundred. Jessica, if she doubles up, is going to have twenty-three thousand two hundred. So Matt will just need to wager a thousand to lock out Jessica. If he gets it wrong with that wager, of course, he's going to be left with 21,200, which forces Jessica to get it right. As we saw with his $1,000 wager, even if he got it right, he would still have 15,000. And not only does he have to get it right to win, he's got both Diana and Jessica in contention. With that larger amount, Diana's out of it. He only has to worry about him getting it wrong and Jessica getting it right. We're still a few months away from seeing how Arthur Chu's well-publicized strategy will affect regular gameplay. Penultimate wager could be a dying breed, but it doesn't hurt to know it. Stuff like this, I hope keeps you coming back to the final wager.